Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. I'm Violet. If this is your first time to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And if you enjoyed this DIY, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I made these two adorable Easter spring decor pieces for your home using Dollar Tree supplies. The first one we're actually going to be making is this Easter tray and it's a really cute Easter bunny tray. So let's go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is one of these round plaques that you can get from Dollar Tree. I'm using the oval one, but you can use any one. They have squares, um, rectangles, they have quite a few shapes. So just pick whatever kind of plaque you want. Then what I did was I flipped it over or decided which side I wanted the bottom to be and I glued some of these square wood cubes that you can get from Dollar Tree as well. And I just used hot glue, but you can use wood glue as well. Then I got one of these reef rings and what I decided to do was just kind of cut it in the center and then evenly cut it from the center on both sides just so I don't have to open it up as much. Um, so that way I just cut from one side of the center where I actually cut it the first time and then with the same piece I just went ahead and cut it on the opposite side just so that opening can be nice and even and then I can glue it onto my plaque. Then I decided where I want to place it on my plaque and I bent the ends of each one of them to make it kind of like an L shape just so it can hook onto the wood plaque when I glue it on there and it can stay in place as well. So just flip it over and kind of figure out where you want it. And again, all I used was my hot glue gun, but you can also use some E6000 here as well if you like. Um, but the hot glue gun did work really well and it stayed in place. So just go ahead and glue your ring around the plaque. Just hold it for a little while just to make sure that it stays in place and that glue does have a little bit of uh, time to dry so it won't move around. Once it's completely dry, just go ahead and set it aside. Then use any kind of wiring you may have. I'm just using some of this floral right wiring that I had, um, but you can use any kind you may have. And just decide how big you want those bunny ears and cut the wiring to size. Then grab any kind of rope that you want to use. I'm gonna use the original nautical rope from Dollar Tree. Then I'm just gonna glue it to one end of my wiring and then wrap it around the entire wiring itself. And just go ahead and wrap it around your entire wiring. Once you've done wrapping it around your wiring, go ahead and just attach it with some hot glue on the opposite side. Once you're done wrapping up your wiring, just go ahead and shape it to the way you want your bunny ear to look. And what I did was just add a little bit of glue at the bottom just to pinch it together to make sure that it stayed in place so my ear wouldn't um, pop open. Once you're done, figure out where you want to place them on your tray and then go ahead and hot glue your bunny ears to your ring. 
let this dry make sure it's completely dry before you start moving it around and then you're gonna grab that same nautical rope and you're gonna wrap it around the entire ring itself to shape it to make it look like that bunny head or the tray and all I did was just glue the nautical rope to the bottom of my tray and then just start wrapping it around And if you don't feel comfortable just wrapping your nautical rope all the way around, um, every so often you could add a little bit of hot glue to make sure that it stays in place. I don't know about you guys, but two of my favorite holidays to decorate for is for Christmas and Easter. I love decorating for both of those two holidays. But for Easter, I don't just make all Easter themed things. I like to decorate um, using more of like the spring theme kind of decorations in order for me to keep them out, not just for the Easter, but also um, all the way through summer. Sometimes I keep some of those decorations out. So just continue wrapping your jute twine, or I'm sorry, your nautical rope around the ring. Once you get to the ear, you're gonna see that I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue um, throughout each one of those wraps, just to make sure that it stays in place and also to help that ear stay nice and secure as well so you won't have to worry about that falling um, off of your tray as well. So again, once you get close to that ear, just start using your hot glue and adding just little dots of hot glue every time you wrap um, your nautical rope around the ear. So what I did was I wrapped it around twice inside the ear, the bunny ear, and then I'm just gonna wrap it, start wrapping it around the ends. But again, gluing it throughout each one of them. And then just continue wrapping it all the way around. And once you get to the other end of your tray, you're gonna do the same thing, just continue wrapping it until it's all complete, and then just glue that nautical rope to the bottom of your tray in order for it to stay in place. Now the fun part starts. You can decorate it any way you want. I just grabbed some greenery that I had, and I wanted to keep this more like a yellow theme colors, so I'm gonna start using some yellow flowers that I have. Um, and all of these flowers are basically from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just gonna start cutting some of these flowers from the stem itself because I do like to cut them in little pieces so I can glue them throughout whatever decoration I'm doing. This is the way I normally make my floor, uh, flower arrangements by cutting them up and gluing them in different areas of my uh, arrangement. I just think it works easier for me this way and that way I have more control of how I want my decoration or the arrangement to look. So just start hot gluing all your flowers and your greenery um, wherever you want. I'm just going to kind of keep it simple and put it right on the center in between both of my bunny ears. But if you're not into the fake flowers and greenery, because I know a lot of people don't like that sometimes, you can also put a really adorable uh, ribbon bow on here. Um, you can even decorate it with maybe some um, Easter eggs also. So there's quite a few different options. I just wanted to keep it going with the theme that I'm going to go for this year, which is going to be more of that spring flowery theme. So um, I'm just going to keep with more of the yellow tones for this one.
and you can add as much as you want onto your um, tray. I didn't want to add too much, but I did want it to make a statement um, just in case I do decide to use this as a centerpiece. But my thoughts right now are to put it on one of my kitchen uh, cabinets that I have and put it in there as decoration. So I didn't want to add too much, but I did, of course, like to add quite a bit. So just go ahead and continue adding as much as you like to your Easter Bunny. So once you're done and it's all nice and dry, what I decided to do was add some moss on the bottom of my tray. Now you can paint your tray, stain it, or you can leave it as is. I went ahead and just used my hot glue gun and just kind of patted that moss onto my tray itself just to make it look more like an Easter basket. Now I tend not to do this um, all the time. I normally try to use spray glue when I'm going to use moss but I couldn't find it. I don't know if I had any or not. Um, I kind of rearranged my crafting area, so I really can't remember where I placed it, if I even have any. So I just went ahead and used what I had, which was my hot glue gun. So this goes to show you that you can still add your moss onto your tray using hot glue, but it would be easier and a lot more smoother and faster if you have some spray adhesive or even some Mod Podge to glue it and paint it on brush it onto your uh, plaque and then just add the moss that way and that way you won't have as much fly away also um, but if you do it this way one tip that I can tell you if you don't want that moss to kind of move around when you decide to add stuff onto your tray just spray some hairspray onto the moss let it completely dry and that's going to keep it nice and firm and you won't have a lot of that moss fly away that uh, you tend to have if you don't add anything on the top of it So once I was done adding all the moss onto the top of my tray, I went ahead and decided to add it on the edging of my tray as well, just to give it more of that finished look because I really didn't like the way that wood part was looking. And I'm gonna show you just a minute how that looks. See right there, I really didn't like the way that looked. So I decided to go ahead and just glue some more moss onto that area. So once you're done adding all that greenery, let everything dry and then just trim off like a haircut, any of that moss that you don't want if you want it to look nice and uh, put together and then give it that finished look. And there you have it, an adorable Easter bunny tray. Next one we're gonna do is fill with the theme of the nautical rope and also the yellow color theme. But these, we're gonna make some beehive candle, I wanna call them the closures. And what I did was just grab some of these wine glasses from Dollar Tree. Now this one was a lot easier because it does have like that coloring at the bottom of the cup. Um, but just kind of figure out where you want your beehive to start and just start gluing your nautical rope all the way around the cup itself. I wanted to keep mine halfway from the glass just so because I am going to put some candles and it's going to be more of a close. You could even add a little cute bunny in here to make it more Easter theme um, and then just take that bunny off and keep it as a spring decor later on. But I'm going to show you how I did it with some tea lights. So just go ahead and continue wrapping that nautical rope around your cup. This is another really easy DIY that you can do um, even if you guys have like those craft weekends or you know have a few hours that you want to kind of just use your imagination and do something this is one of those really adorable DIYs that you can do with a group of friends and um, kind of get different reactions and different decorations and ideas just based on this one craft so just go ahead and continue wrapping that nautical rope all the way around your glass
Now this is a completely optional. I wanted to have a handle on my cloche, so what I did was just grab some of that nautical rope before I completely wrapped the entire glass up with the um, nautical rope and I glued on a handle. And to give it more of that stability and make sure it's nice and secure, just keep wrapping your nautical rope around the handle um, so that way it's gonna have more hold and um, be a lot stronger where you glued the handle part. So once you're done, just go ahead and cut off any of the excess nautical rope. And then of course, with anything that I do with rope, um, I like to burn all those flyaways. So just grab my lighter and just be very careful and clean that up for um, the top part. And then I just, there's two different ways or at least two different ways that I'm thinking you can do the opening of your beehive is with a permanent marker like I am, which is a lot faster. Or you can just get some black felt and do it the same way. Just cut the shape of an opening and glue it onto your beehive that way as well. So once you're done, what I did just to give it more of that 3D effect is I just grabbed some nautical rope, I'm sorry, some jute twine and just glued it around the opening just to give it more of that 3D look. And I just wrapped it around one time. You can wrap it around a few times if you like, just depending on how big that opening you want. Then I had these adorable little wood bumblebees from Dollar Tree as well. So I went ahead and just grabbed a few of them and attached them to my um, beehive. And you can add as many as you like onto them. You know, they're really cute, adorable little wood beehive bees that you can get. And there you have it, an adorable beehive cloche. So this is the way they both turned out. Here's the Easter Bunny tray, as well as the little beehive cloches. Which one's your favorite? So I hope you enjoyed both of these tutorials. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Also, don't forget to uh, follow me on all my social medias. All the links are in the description down below. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.